Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're doing a, another speed build. I told you a couple days ago or a couple videos ago that I was branching out and I was going to start creating, uh, create a sim and build content. Well, the time has come and I have officially made one of my best building creations I think I've ever done. So if you want to hear about it and you want to see the process and hear the little story I've put together for the three houses on this lot, make sure you hit the thumbs up and the like button and come back for more content. Of course, I'm going to have more for you guys. And yeah, this is part of my little save file that I'm doing. Um, <laughs> no uh, release date pending, still uh, very much a work in progress. This is the second thing I've ever built for it. So <laughs> we're working on it. But if you like the video, definitely make sure you give it a thumbs up. I'd love to have you back here for future content and let me know what you think. Let me know if you like the story. Let me know if you like the builds. I have it up on the gallery already completed. It's got all three homes completed on it and there's been some downloads. So I feel <laughs> a little accomplished, but let's begin. It's going to be, it's a big one. It is in... Uh, Del Sol Valley, I think it is. It's the valley, the pack that I really don't like. <laughs> um, but it's a huge, awkward looking lot. So I thought it would be cool to do th like a trailer park-esque thing. It's in like a uh, downtown part, kind of uh, in what I would imagine is the crappy part of town because there's, you know, it's away from the hustle and bustle of the big city. And I thought it'd be cool to put three houses on it your family would have to include the people living in the other homes because there are sims that live in two of the three houses here but i think it'd be cool to insert your little family in the middle we'll get to that <laughs> but for right now we're talking about this mobile home this is the home of joseph and monroe they are an elder retired couple and they thought it would be cool to sell their home, sell their, you know, their house, their car, all that. They don't really want the finances of it anymore since they're retired. They don't really want to worry about it. They don't want to, you know, have that mortgage, have the extra burden. So they actually sold it and they want to live out their retired home in this refurbished mobile home in the downtown part of Del Sol Valley. If you do download this lot, I have Monroe and Joseph living here already. Um, Monroe is a retired florist and Joseph worked at a local factory. He is living his retirement and <laughs> just fishing and hanging out and doing all the things that he could not wait to do while he was working. However, there's been some changes on the lot that have led to <laughs> quite a feud. We'll get into that, but let's talk about what is going on right now. So I don't build, okay? <laughs> Nothing is easier than this kind of straight line, simple roof. This was so easy to kind of put together. So <laughs> thumbs up for me. I think I got the, the layout down pretty good. I struggle with sometimes figuring out where furniture looks good when it's placed. You'll see since it's a big old open spot, it looks a little bit strange once they start adding furniture. In my opinion, it ended up looking great once I kind of figured out what I wanted to do and, and got it all down and, and done. But I was really, really struggling at first. But I do, I am proud of it. This is probably the, believe it or not, <laughs> because it is three homes. This was the largest thing I've ever built. And I'm actually really proud of it. And I love the story behind it that I've given it. And I think it's going to add a little bit of flair to my save file whenever that gets released. Uh, you know, don't hold your breath, right? It's going to be a while. I tried to do everything base game. There's a, a little bit of packs doubled in there, but if you don't have the packs, you can still download it and you won't be missing out on anything major. It's like columns. It's a couple clutter items. It's nothing super, super serious. So if you download it and you don't have the packs, I'm not quite sure which packs are needed. I will check on that and put it in the description box, but you're not going to miss out on too much if you don't have those packs, just a heads up. I learned very quickly that I love landscaping. I think it is so fun. I definitely have a long way to go in terms of doing it better, <laughs> but I, not to toot my own horn, think it came out really, really well. Of course, you're seeing a little bit of it now. 
I had to break it up. Sometimes I got a little bit bored doing the inside. I wanted to switch it up and do the outside. So I'll pop back and forth a little bit through this video. I hope that's okay. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to do a live build sometime in the near future. I think I'm going to build my apartment. I know I've said that before, but I think I'm going to build my apartment and have like a live video for that. So it's not a voiceover like this one. And it might be a little bit easier to walk you through my thought process as I'm doing it. And it might help me keep my attention <laughs> so I don't jump around and do half of this room, half of that room, you know, the backyard. Hopefully it keeps me a little bit more on track. As I've been building, I'm more and more excited for the interior design pack. It comes out on June 1st. I am recording this voiceover on May 29th. And by the time this goes live, it'll be May 31st. And I'll only have to wait one more day. And I am so excited. To be honest, I don't know why I'm so excited. Because like I said, building and decorating is not really my strong suit. But I think it's going to kind of force me to uh, explore that aspect a little bit more and for that I'm really excited. So I wanted to keep it kind of grandma, kind of grandparent-esque, but a little bit modern. Like they retired and they built this trailer or they purchased this newly refurbished, brand new built trailer mobile home where they can just kind of move in. They bring their old timey looking furniture from their old house, but the amenities around them, the wall color, the floor, that's all kind of updated a little bit. That was kind of my thought process here. And I think it came across pretty well. Um, I really struggled with the living room. I think that the couch placement and the chair placement just looks a little bit awkward. Um, let me know what you guys think, because <laughs> I can take any pointers and I'm looking for all the pointers you guys can give me. Let's talk a little bit more about the lot. So like I said, it's, it's uh, a three trailer a lot there's going to be an older couple monroe and joseph who live in this mobile home and then there when they moved in there was an older sick lady um she lived by herself she was divorced and she just had her two uh, teenage children with her they have since aged up into young adults and unfortunately the lady has passed away leaving the uh, mobile home to her two children so now it is Monroe and Joseph in between them is an empty mobile home which my hopes would be your family would move in there uh, it is a two-bedroom home I didn't do a speed build for it I kind of want to leave it a surprise but it is a two-bedroom home one uh, adult bedroom I guess and then one set up for a child it is a pink bedroom but of course you can obviously make it <laughs> for uh, a young boy if you'd like um, and then on the right side of the empty home that's um, meant for your Sims is a, <laughs> well, you'll just have to take a look for yourself. Uh, there will be a speed build for that coming up very soon. Uh, and we'll go into a little bit more of their story. But long story short, Monroe and Joseph are in a pretty serious feud with... Uh, the young brother and sister. The brother and sister are named uh, Crystal and Guy. And yeah, we'll get into their backstory in a different video. But essentially, once their mother passed away and they got, you know, this house for free, they pretty much had guests over. They were throwing parties every night of the week. They were hoarding cars and tools and their yard went from really nicely manicured when their mother was alive to <laughs> a hoarder's paradise. Um, again, you'll see what that looks like in the next speed build video, but Monroe and Joseph were hoping to have a simple, easy life once they moved here. And um, <laughs> it's now been turned on their heads. They can't sleep. They are, there's people wandering in their yards, people randomly sitting in their backyard on their patio furniture. There's just a lot of unwelcome company that they were not planning on having. So there's been a little bit of a feud <laughs> between uh, the older couple and the newly inherited home of the two um, siblings. My hope is that you make a family and you kind of smack yourself dab in the middle of this, these two feuding um, 
neighbors and you know you can kind of create your own story there you, you know your own let's play your own ideas but you kind of take the reins there and try to figure out how you're going to make it work and all of that jazz uh <laughs> i thought it was a pretty cool idea for this really large lot and you know um there's some lore here that i love lore and i think that my um my goal with my save file is to have as much lore in the game as I can. So I think that this little bit of lore is going to go a long way and you can kind of develop the story even further from there for yourselves. And it should be really fun. I'm going to play <laughs> specifically on this. I think it's going to be really, really cool. And yeah, I'm excited. For the back bedroom, I still made it kind of grandma-y. Um, I believe in my mind, this is probably the room that Monroe kind of took the reins over and designed. Um, she added the wallpaper, something to give her a little reminder of her old home. She doesn't miss, you know, the upkeep and living in the huge house that they had just didn't have, this, they didn't need the space anymore. You know, they just, their kids moved out, their grandkids weren't, you know, they're grown up, so they're not really staying over anymore on the weekends and things like that. So my thoughts process is um, Monroe kind of took that over and grandmified with the, <laughs> the grandma -y curtains and all that. So the, the modern colors and floor are kind of highlighted with the older looking furniture and features. Now this lot is expensive, uh, because it's gonna it has three houses on it technically, so you might need to use the like free real estate cheat or um, <laughs> some kind of money cheat or merge the households to get your uh, Sims living here. Or if you want to just completely remove Monroe, Joseph, Crystal, and Guy, and kind of make your own Sims to live in these homes, that would be really cool too. If you do that, definitely you know. Just, take a screenshot or show me on Twitter somehow. Um, if you would like to follow me on Twitter, for sure, that's linked down below as well. I kind of post some memes and <laughs> just do some, uh, for lack of better terms, like shit posting on there <laughs> and kind of just chit chat and uh, look up stuff like that. So if you want to follow me on Twitter, that is linked in the description, but I would love to see if you guys kind of update this at all. Definitely send me pictures, link me, whatever you'd like to do. And of course, we had some pretty manicured uh, lawn and garden work because Monroe is a retired florist. So I wanted to kind of make the outside as attractive as I could. I also use the debug menu and it is a beast. <laughs> it is an actual beast. There is so much in there. I feel like I was scrolling through and finding things and it just looked really, really good. Um, and I was really happy to find those things, but it is not easy to find there is a lot you have to look through so <laughs> I actually took a lot of that out or we would be sitting here for hours watching me scroll through and you know because I don't build as often so whenever I found something kind of cool I would pull it out and size it around to see if it was worth using like this giant rock I don't need that giant rock but I wanted to take a look at it <laughs> And of course, if you are a builder and you see me making mistakes or if you give me pointers, I, I'm open. Give me the pointers. Tell me the mistakes I'm making because I really don't know what I'm doing when it comes to building. So if you can give me any pointers or any corrections, give it to me. I'm all ears. I'm ready. I'm willing to learn. I didn't think I'd have as much fun as I did, though, with the building. Uh, I'm, I'm loving it. I'm really, really, really enjoying it. And that's exciting for me because it gives me a new thing to do on Sims. Of course, it's been there forever. You know, building has been part of the Sims forever, but it gives me kind of a new way to play. And I know that sounds kind of crazy because, you know, hello, it's the Sims, but it's like a new part that I hadn't really explored before and I am so loving it. I am having a lot of trouble with like the stairs and the decks and all that. So if you want to give me pointers there, leave them down below. Why can't I put the wood on those steps? Please tell me. 
Yeah, uh, the stairs, they're getting me. <laughs> the stairs, foundations, and roofs, I think, are the three things that I need to work the most on. I can't seem to nail them for the life of me. I've been told that they're like the hardest things to do, so I'm trying not to get discouraged, but man, I was ready to <laughs> fight. This is actually a cut down version of the stairs that you guys are seeing. It took me quite a while, <laughs> quite a while. I wanted to give them a pretty nice backyard. It's just them living here, but you know, their grandkids come and visit every now and then, and their kids are kind of grown up now, so they come and have barbecues and things like that rather than, you know, uh, play dates. So their grandkids come and visit and they have like nice little barbecues. And of course, um, I had to put some landscaping down because our girl Monroe was a, a florist. So I love the terrain tools. Look how easy that was. Everything's so nice and square. It looks a lot more natural than, you know, putting like stone tile down. This looks so good. I'm obsessed. I love land I love landscaping so much. But I give them a little grill, a nice little table, just a nice little outside area. I also put the debug fence on the side of their property. I just think that that looked uh, really good. It looked pretty normal. Like I feel like that is like a, a normal thing you see in between lots and stuff like that in I guess real life. So I just did that. I think it looked really cool. I lined their like patio area with these bushes uh, just to give it some more dimension. And I want to show a lot of contrast between Monroe and Joseph and how they keep their home and <laughs> Crystal and Guy, which like I said, you will see their home in a speed build in just a couple days. Um, I have to do the voiceover and edit it all and then it'll come, come right out to you guys and I gave them, you know, some nice outs door lighting I, I just love it i fell in love with this house but that's all for this video guys thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you're interested in downloading it it is on the gallery you can find me on the gallery at reese dk i will link that in the description box as well and yeah download it play in it create your story and more importantly come back for <laughs> the next episode thanks again guys Thank you.